Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. Today's video tutorial is on how I play Dawn of Titans on my PC. So I've been asked this many times over the last couple of weeks, how am I playing Dawn of Titans on my PC? People are asking me this because I have been streaming it on my PC for uh, about a week and a half now, a uh, week and a half, two weeks, and uh, people were just curious on how I'm doing this. This is of course for you Android users. Those of you that are playing using an Android account you will be able to uh, do these steps to uh, play this game on your PC, your computer. If you have a Mac, unfortunately, I don't know if there's any emulators out there for Macs. Uh, so you'll have to do a Google search or ask.com search. Um, for you guys that are using I iOS, I have gone looking for you guys to see if I could find any iOS uh, emulators out there. Uh, I came upon a couple of sites saying, oh yes, these are some great iOS emulators. And looking more into it, they're not emulators, they're simulators. And those are two totally different things. Um, before we go digging any deeper, I will uh, talk a little bit more about what is the difference between a simulator and an emulator. Uh, emulator basically is uh, your uh, device. So if you have just say an Android device, like a tablet, if you open this up, this is pretty much how an Android tablet works. So this wouldn't be there, but Bluestacks puts that in there. Um, but you can go into the settings and it will be very similar to uh, your Android device. So it, it is replicating Android device. You can go online with it. You can uh, alter things. You can install programs. It is basically a virtual box. So uh, that that's what the big difference between uh, emulators and simulators are. Simulators, you can't install anything. You can't really go online and download anything. It won't let you. You won't be able to install anything, nothing. Why, what is the point of a simulator versus an emulator? Simulator is just to give you the basic experience and whatnot. Emulators allow you to play, but also is great for developers to be able to go on and uh, try some new stuff. So uh, there's a couple of different uh, emulators out there. The one I was just using is this one called Bluestacks. Um, it is a free program, but uh, to play f uh, to use it for free, you will need to install a couple of apps that they ask you to uh, install, um, or you can uh, pay. But all you do is you come down and click download Bluestacks and there you go. The next one, this is uh, one that has been recommended, uh, which I am definitely going to give this one a try. Uh, I was told this one works a lot better, is uh, Mibu. I think I'm saying that correctly, Mibu. Uh, but it is a free, free program. And uh, what's nice is uh, it just like Bluestacks does work on all Windows um, and everything. Um, I was told that it works, it handles out, handles great. Um, and one nice thing about it is it allows you to run multiple accounts. So if you're playing just say uh, um, Dawn of Titans, you can run multiple accounts at the same time uh, just from this one program. You're not tied down to playing one single uh, program, uh, one, one account. So this is multi uh, MIMU, 
and here's just regular Mebu. I'm going to launch the regular Mebu. Uh, I don't have anything installed on this. This was literally just installed on my computer 10 minutes ago. Um, so, uh, am I going to throw out a suggestion for which one to use? Yes, I'm going to throw out a suggestion saying, you choose. They're both there. Um, I mean, Mimu so far hasn't asked me to install anything extra. So, I probably would say go with Mimu. But, BlueStacks, I've been using for a couple of weeks. It has been stable. Haven't had any problems. So, I would also say go with uh, that if you want. That's your choice. So, um, but basically, uh, that's how I do it. And when I stream, all I do is I open up BlueStacks. And here, let me uh, go up into my broadcasting. This is all my stuff for broadcasting. Everything from uh, OBS to my audio program. And yes, I use OBS, not XSplit. Uh, if you're an XSplit, XSplit user and you, you sit there and say, OBS sucks, well, guess what? Suck it. I hate XSplit. Uh, I, I look at XSplit for all those uh, pansies that are new to the game and can't really set up anything. They need some pre preset stuff. Um, but if you really want to be a man and uh, learn how to use a program, learn OBS. OBS is a great program. allows you a lot more variety and a lot better options and way to do things than uh, XSplit. But all I did was I set up OBS to display the screen, which uh, when I play full screen, it records just the screen. Um, here, I'll go to uh, right there. I'm running it as a desktop view, but see if I minimize um, and let me get OBS back up since uh, you shouldn't. There you go right there. As you can see, it looks at desk, desk, uh, desktop view. Let me see. Where is it? Okay. Yep. So, uh, that's the program right there. And this is how I stream. So, here, let me close that. But that's it. All you do is once you've uh, installed one of these apps, you should be able to just go to the Play Store. Uh, right here, it's asking me to add in a Google account or do an existing. RPSE Corpse. I don't have a last name. You want to set? I'm actually going to do it this way. First name dreaded, last name corpse. Email. Here, I'll pause this for a second. Okay, there we go. Um, I actually changed the email address and whatnot, but um, search Google Play. I'm going to do Don. Oh, come on, what's going on here? Okay, there we go. I got it situated. So now we just sit there and go to Dawn of Titans. And let me minimize that. And just click on install. I accept. Uh, since I'm not using Wi-Fi, I don't really care about that. So uncheck that.
Okay, so now we have uh, this installed. I mean, we can sit there and click open and it will allow us to uh, open up and play the game. So, Okay, there we go. I will be known as the Hacks 666 on here. But essentially, it looks just like uh, Blue Stacks right here. So, uh, I mean, it's going to be. Let me drop the volume down. So, it's going to be up to you on which emulator you want to use. But just make sure don't use a simulator. So, uh, but yeah, once you get it on, it's just a matter of installing the app like you would any other game. And uh, deal with this. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, I hope that this video helps a little bit of understanding that we're using emulators, programs uh, like these, Bluestacks or Mibu. And uh, if, if you're really curious if, okay, is there one for Mac, go to ask.com or go to google.com and do a search there. Um, Android emulators on Mac. Three best and Android emulators for Mac. Uh, it's saying BlueStacks. They have a Mac version. Uh, Droid 4X. And Andy OS. So, uh, I, I've heard some good things about Andy OS. Uh, I tried it, but it didn't work that great for me. But I also never really gave it a chance. So, yeah, definitely uh, check it out. I don't know what this link they're sending back to. But, uh, yeah, Andy OS seems to have been one of the best that I've tried. Uh, but that's what other people were saying. Uh, and that's what you want to go, go on. Go see what other people are suggesting, what they're using, and then uh, try it for yourself. Make up your own decision. So, uh, good luck, happy huntings, and hope this helps.